Welcome, welcome, welcome to the way life ought to be. I'm your host, Wayne Kramer. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. It is an incredible honor to have you listening to the podcast, to have you subscribing to the podcast, and to sharing the way life ought to be with your friends and family. It is an incredible honor. First and foremost, I would like to thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for listening. Thank you for allowing me to share my podcast with you each and every time that you tune in and listen. If you haven't subscribed, if this is the first time you've ever listened to The Way Life Ought to Be, welcome to the family. Please hit subscribe, share the podcast with your friends and your family, put it on your social media And please help me grow this podcast that is transmitting positivity and uplifting people and helping us really all strive to live the best life that we possibly can live. That is what my goal is in the podcast, the way life ought to be. I'm in sales and I sell windows for a living. I know. I know. It's pretty exciting. It's amazing. Well, it pays well, so I have to do it. And I have to pay my bills. And um, if I don't, apparently that's not something they like. I know. It's crazy. But I sell windows for a living for a large company. And I was in between appointments about a week ago And I came across a beach because when I'm in between my appointments, I try to find a place where I can go chill and kind of look at the water and the sun shines. And I just like to focus in my thoughts and reconnect with what I'm actually doing. Because I don't know if you're in sales or not, but if you are, it can be very, very gratifying. And it can also be very mentally challenging because some days it's great. Some days it's horrible. It's like my brother always tells me who has been in sales for much longer than I, some days you're the bug and some days you're the windshield. Not sure really if either one is that great, but spoken from a true sales professional that understands that it is what it is, man. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Anyway, so I stopped by the beach to do my paperwork and I saw a small wooden cross right where I parked. Well, I didn't run over the cross. That would have been not exactly cool, but I parked right by this wooden cross and I looked at it and the words on the cross said, we love and miss you. And it was from October, 2000. 19, also known as October, 2019. And I looked at the cross and I thought, well, maybe someone older was fishing here or something and used to come to this spot to relax and they probably passed away and someone put up a cross to honor them. That's great. That's actually really cool. And I thought, wow, that's, that really makes you think. I mean, life is a little bit shorter than what we'd all like it to be. Sometimes it's a fleeting thing. It moves quickly. And we don't always realize how quickly our life is actually moving until we see things like a cross sometimes like that. So I was sitting there doing my paperwork and a lady was walking her dog just down the way. And I said, hi, how are you? And she said, hi, I'm good. She said, oh, did you know this person that was on the cross, uh, his name? And I said, no, I, I I don't. She said, oh, I just, I don't see anyone at this spot. So I was assuming that you were friends with him. I think his name was Sam, I believe. And it just said Sam on the cross. I didn't know him, but she said, oh, really? Okay. And I said, well, that's, uh, why I said, why did you know him or something? I said, "I'm, I'm just parking here to do my paperwork. I'm not trying to take up this spot. If you want to come here and honor him, that's cool. I'll, I'll, I can move to a different spot. But she said, no, actually, this person actually committed suicide right at this very spot. And she said that 
she saw someone come visit that spot and they were crying hysterically. And it really makes you take pause and take an inventory of your life. And it puts it all into a much clearer perspective when you hear a story like that. He, he took his own life. He committed suicide. And at that very minute, his life was extinguished and it was over. And that's all she wrote for this individual. It's, I believe, a very healthy thing for us to reflect on our own mortality from time to time. And the impact that we can have on other people while we're here. Life is a gift. It's a, it's a precious gift. And we would be well served to not lose sight of the magnitude of the gift that we've all been given. Never, my friends, never, never lose sight of that precious gift. Never lose sight of the gift of life. No matter what you're going through, you might have a tough situation going with your, your marriage or your family or relationships or your job or just life in general, but it's not too much. Trust God to pull you through. He can, and he, he cares about you and he will. Don't feel like you're all alone. You're not. Reach out to someone. If you are struggling and you're suffering and you've got a lot of pain and people may not always be aware of it because let's be honest, when you struggle and suffer, you don't exactly wear a billboard around to the mall. Hey, by the way, guys, Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm struggling and I'm suffering. Got a lot of pain. Oh, that's me. I'm Wayne. Yep. Or when you go to church and they're like, okay, well, everyone have a great week. God bless. And everyone leaves. Some people do stay though, however. But there are people that will help you. There's people that will offer to pray for you. There's people that will reach out and they will take their time to pour into you. Don't forget that. Wherever you're at, whatever you're going through, life is worth more. It really, really is always worth more. Don't let it overtake you. You know, it's funny because I'm approaching 50 quickly now, and I don't know how I actually got to this point. It just sort of snuck up on me. One day I was 20 years old and I had the entire world in front of me and I was like, yeah, man, come on, man. I'm going to win. I'm going to do the best. I want to get everything in the world. I'm going to run the world. I know everything. And then the next day, my back hurts and I'm sore. Sore, man. And I'm thinking, how did this happen? I used to be young. I had hair, a lot of hair. My kids don't believe that I had hair. They don't necessarily believe that at all. They think I'm lying. And I'm like, no, honest to God. Here's my senior picture. I had a lot of hair. It was really nice, actually. And then one day it just fell out. We have a seven-year-old and I tell him that my hair fell out. And he asked me one day if my hair fell down the stairs. And I said, well, I would imagine some of it did. It seems plausible that while I was in transit, some of it fell out of my head and was on the stairs. He thought that was pretty funny. He's a real funny guy. You're a funny guy. You're making fun of my hair there, dude. But the topic today is just never lose hope of how precious life really is. Never. Hold on to that hope. It's really, really tough when people have pain that hits them at a level or a magnitude that they feel they can't get past or they feel it is too much to handle. So they feel as if there are no other options. There really are options. There are people that will love you and will care for you. There are also a lot of bad people in the world. 
bottom line, I'm not going to pretend there are people that are out there that are not good people. But conversely, there are a lot of people that will help you and pull you out of despair and restore you back to a stronger self. And they'll fight with you. A good friend is not someone that says, you know, Bill, good luck, man. I hope you pull through. I got a family barbecue. See ya. A good friend is like, Bill, man, I'm supposed to be somewhere. I can tell you're suffering, you're struggling. What can I do? You know, how can I help you? Let's go grab a quick bite to eat. Let's talk. Let's sit down on a park bench and share life together. Let's talk. Let's help each other. How can I help you, man? What can I do? And they'll listen. And they'll sit with you. The best friends in the entire world are the friends that are there when you are down. Yo, man, I'm down. Okay, not not like that. If you're ready to dance, whole nother issue. But if you're down, you know, they're there. They're sitting with you and they're listening to you and they're helping you. They're not just waiting for you to succeed in order to finally give a rip about you. They're actually there when you're not winning. And you know what else? They're there when you're winning too. There's a lot of people that aren't there when you're winning either. You need them both times. All right? So, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know where you're at in this life. I don't know how you're doing financially, spiritually, maritally, in your family. I don't know how you're feeling health-wise, physically. I, I, I don't know because a lot of different people listen to this show. But I can tell you that the way life ought to be is you should not feel alone and you should not feel that you're not cared for because you matter. You matter a lot and God loves you and he's not going to stop loving you. You're pretty much stuck with that. You were made in God's image and you are meant to have a purpose to your life. And I just feel compelled to share that with you folks today. So don't forget that. Grab hold, pull it in and just put that in inside of you and always maintain that because it's real. You matter. You, 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 all of you, every one of you matters. No one is an extra. I am aware that people make mistakes. Do you want to know why I'm aware? Because I'm a people, also known as a person, which would be singular. Mistakes happen. We take wrong turns. Sometimes we do things that we regret, but it, at the end of the day, you matter. You're not being written off, at least by myself. I don't write you off. God doesn't write you off. Don't forget the value that you hold. Never lose sight of that. Keep that tucked away inside of you and just Remember that at the end of the day, you are incredibly valuable. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to The Way Life Ought to Be. God bless. Please subscribe and share this with as many people as possible. Have an amazing day. (laughs) 